Thank you for tapping in to another collective reading. This is Gracefully Speaking, and I'm going to jump right into the read. So let me tell y'all, I was meditating, doing a guided meditation. This was, it's almost one o'clock. It is one o'clock. Almost like four or five hours. Fell asleep during the meditation, so the readings should be fine. Okay. All right. So what's going on? You suspend the access to someone. Whoever this person was, they were a liar, a pathological liar at that. A damn liar, a habitual liar. Now that all of a sudden this person is emotional and spirit is saying, release release your ex this person is not worth waiting for um when you were with this person you felt more bound than anything even when you were with this person you still felt alone so you are being guided to release this person fail to see the lesson in the air this person is refusing to learn the lessons. They're refusing to learn the lessons. However, you didn't, you want super, you giving supercharged collective. You are giving, you are super charged. Like if you were a charger, you'd be the supercharged. You would be the uh, scat pet, or if that's how you see it. You'd be the scat pet, okay? You have gotten to a place where you've outgrown this person. But Spirit is nudging you to go ahead and move forward because for one, divine timing is at play. It's safe for you to love, but not this person. It's safe for you to love, but not this person. Doing this just a truth and clarity for the collective. Yeah, compare and contrast. Spirit wants you to literally weigh it out. It's like if you're not going to trust the nudges that you get, weigh it out. Weigh out the good and the bad and see what you get. See if the bad outweighs the good. If the good outweighs the bad. And go from there. The good days, the bad days. The pros and the cons of the relationship. The pros and the cons of this person. You could have even been a rebound to this person. Like when you came into their life. Let me turn these crackling sounds down. When you came into this person's life. They were rebuilding. They were in the process of rebuilding. And should not have been trying to be in a relationship with somebody else. They should have been working on getting themselves together. Now, no longer bound, this person could have been locked up. I'm getting love after lock up. I'm just seeing chains, cut like handcuffs. So this person could have been, this person could have been in prison, could have been in jail for a long period of time, right before you met them. And so they met you at a time where they should have been killing, but you are completely, you could have been completely unaware of this. Yeah, you are worth more now. Mm -mm, that's what I'm saying. When they met you, you might not have been who you are today. You could have been growing into this person. And I don't feel like this person truly saw the value in you. And if they did, they didn't say it. If they did, they didn't show it. Yeah. So, let's see what we get from the tarot. Angels and sisters of the highest light, light. Clarify. I am suspending your access to me. It's necessary. There's certain things that you are finding out about this person that you're discovering 
Why is this itching? And it's causing you to be able to see the situation so much clearer. Oh. Being able to see the situation a lot clearer now. You have sight now. Suspended, yeah. You are suspended access. That's not the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you suspended access to this person. You're tired of all these, these battles with this person. It's up and down. It's just emotions taking you And in the pre-shuffle, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> I got emotional. So you could be a water sign. This person could be a water sign or Leo, because I did see Leo earlier. You have denied access. Not just to this person, but a lot of people. Uh, this could be family. This could be friends that you once communicated with, that you once had some type of bond with. It could have been a trauma bond. But because of your growth, you're releasing those ties. You're no longer bound to people who are not serving your highest good. So if they're not serving your highest good, <laughs> they're on the chopping block, babe. You're on the chopping block. King of Swords. Cutting them out. I'm talking about you You cutting out anything that's not serving you like it. Like it's cancer. It's like I need to get this out immediately. This cannot stay another day. Mm -hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting. They can't continue to play with you. Yeah, they <laughs> they can't they can't continue. Listen, they can't continue to play with you on no day. Seven on seven. Okay. Like, go play with your mama. Don't play with me. Baby, baby, don't play with me. I got bread. I got cake. It's a bakery. She says, "Go play with your dick, baby. Don't play with me." I got bread, I got cake, it's a bakery. I'm suspending your access to me. Baby, what I say? Baby, you laying the law down. You're laying the law down, and what I say, you're doing it fast. As soon as you notice something, just boom, you up out of there. Justice. Because if it's not serving my highest good, it's got me off balance, and I have to stay balanced. Justice. Balance. Restoration. Doing the right thing. Hmm. He said, nah, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I seen what I needed to see and immediately know I'm suspending. Your access is denied. I'm suspending your services. <laughs> Distant horizon. Mm -hmm. Quick. Not playing with the folks. They message your concern. Yeah, because you blocked. <laughs> it didn't even come through. What you talking about? What you talking about? Mm -mm. People that are trying to steal from you. Hey, thieves in your house. Listen, nobody got time for that. You know, when you keep the wrong people around, it will... God will hold up your blessings. He'll hold them. Because you got people around you that you can't trust. And it's like, I can't release what I have for you because you have the wrong people surrounding you. You know, it'll force God to shake the boat. You know, I always like to tell people about the story of Jonah uh, when he was in the, before he got into the belly of the whale and he was on the boat, on the ship. And they asked him to ask God to calm the storm. But he knew God wasn't going to calm the storm. He knew that the reason why God had the lightning and the thunder and the rain, why all of that was happening was because he was on the boat and he wanted him off that boat so he could do what he was supposed to be doing, the mission that God had actually sent him on that he was trying not to do. So God had to shake the boat up. He had to disturb the boat with everybody on it. So what tends to happen is if we when we don't release things and we know that it has expired, 
It will cause God to shake the room. It will cause God to shake up the household. Won't nothing be right. Every time you try to rebuild it, God will tear it right back down. Because he said, this is not what I intended this for. So Jonah had to jump off the boat. And God calmed the storm. And they went on back to normal. Sometimes God will shake your boat. Because you got people on it that's not supposed to be on it. Don't make God shake the boat. Because this person is on it. I'm going to get one more clarifying card for this. And then I'm going to move forward. Actually, no, I'm not. Because I did. Um, well, I'll get one more. Give me one more. So I have to spend the access to you. I gotta shake the room. I have to spend the access to you. Because I'm on my pathway now. I'm on my journey now. And anything that's not serving my highest good got a roll. Jack. Anything that don't serve my highest good, got to roll. You got to go. Person, place, or thing. You're doing something too much. Suspend access. Stop for a minute. It could be gossiping. Anything. Whatever it is, suspend access. Suspend access. You no longer have access to me. I do want to clarify. Faith without work is dead. Angels and ancestors were last way. Like, tell me more about this. Faith without work is dead. What are you working on, angels? Well, what do the angels want you working on? That's a number four. Faith without work is dead. Tell me more about this. Look at this journey and bad health. I like the way they put that together because on this spiritual journey, and I always like to call my life like a train sometimes or reference it as a train, but the journey is not always easy, but faith without work is dead. Spirit is saying, if you don't get up and crawl every morning, even if you can't take one step a day, you can crawl. Even if you can't step, because I understand how your situation, your, your situation that you look at every day, your living situation, your finance situation, it could be a health situation. You look and you see it in every day. And you're trying to train your mind to combat that into something positive. To say, no matter what my situation is looking like, I'm going to still get up every morning. I'm going to still get up every day and put one foot in front of the other. I'm going to choose to keep moving forward, though. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep putting out my content. I'm going to keep getting up every day, going to work, because I know like whatever it is for you, but whatever you're supposed to be doing, Spirit is saying faith without work is dead. If you never do it, you, you won't succeed. And make sure that your words are lining up to what, your, what you actually want. Don't be using words like broke and lack and don't have. And it's nothing that you can't have. I'm just answer to what the house was like. Hmm. Change. There are some changes that need to happen. 
there are some changes that need to occur. If this person, if you have a mind, suspended access to this person, that needs to change. ASAP. Because what you, what's happening is you're going to allow this person to slow you down. You're going to allow this person to slow you down. If you get sick and you're on the road, what you going to have to do? Slow down. You're going to have to choose to close this out if you haven't already. And if you ha if you are one of the ones who have closed out this cycle, you done that. Because you see how every time you let this person on your boat, it starts to, some just start, the room starts shaking. You, you starting to realize that now. So the door on this situation for the ones who have closed it out is closed and it's done. And Spirit is saying, it's safe for you to love again. Just be open to it because you have something new coming in. That's going to lead to something more. Somebody that's going to put in that time. Give you that time and attention. Look, y'all. I can't make it up. Change with the four of wands. You're going to have somebody that's going to come in. Once these doors are closed. It's the inevitable. So if you've already made that step and suspended this access to this person, you're moving forward. You're going on to something new. You're going on to something new. And you're going up in the, in the tax bracket. Now, so <laughs> you winning all over because you let this go. Because you called justice on the situation and you decided to move forward. I'm going to get... Um, a positive affirmation for us and then I will close out the reading it's just a six this is a house where I like the affirmation for the collective give me affirmation for my babies alright five change affirmation for the collective And we got a five right here in front of me. So a lot of changes are happening right now. That's the end of the year. People in their feelings. But let them stay there. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, um, if you come by, I won't call you. <laughs> Don't ever, 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 ever come by here. Okay? <laughs> The number eight. Today, I abandon all. I, I abandon my old habits and take up new, new, more positive ones. Okay, let me read that. Today, I abandon my old habits and take up new, new, more positive ones. The way they got this font is so funky. I can't stand it. So that is your uh, affirmation. Today, I abandon my old habits and take up new, more positive ones. Why? Because you growing and you growing and you like the way it feels. And <laughs> I don't see you stopping at no point. I feel like the brakes is off of you, baby. You pedal to the metal. You done close this out. You realize that's what was actually holding you back and hindering you. Now you been on the road and you rolling again. Baby, you done took the brakes off the car. So I don't need to stop. I don't need, I don't have no reason to stop. Uh, keep going. Keep going. 